Brittany. So today's video is going to be different from the paranormal, obviously. It actually has nothing to do with the paranormal. But I've been planning to do this video for you guys for quite some time now. Ever since I uploaded my bullying story video, I'll post the link in the description below so you guys can watch that because it'll take forever if I explain the whole thing again and then talk about this now. Now, I was going to make this video about like specifically like cyberbullying, but then I decided to just kind of bundle a bunch of things together into one video for you guys. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to call this video, but this is something that I see happening all the time. You guys see it happening all the time. I even see it happen to you guys on like Instagram and Twitter and I'm just like, what the heck? Like, what? What's going on? I'm not saying you guys do it, but I see other people doing it to you guys and you guys have also messaged me with your stories that happened to you in school and stuff. This is something that I'm very passionate about. I have strong feelings towards something that I totally understand and something that needs to be stopped, something that, you know, it makes me really mad that this is still going on and I want to help people. This is something that means a lot to me and I love helping you guys. I love helping people in general. It just makes me so happy and I just hope this video inspires you in some way. That is the whole purpose and goal of this video. So here we go. I'm not sure how I'm going to like start this off because I have so many things that I want to say, but here we go. You guys know that I was bullied for almost 10 years of my life. It started when I was 9 or 10 years old and ended when I was 17 or 18. I don't know, 17 or 18 years old, it ended. Just watch the video in the description below of my bullying story so you guys would be all caught up. But yes, I was bullied for my face shape and it took a huge toll on me. It was terrible. It was an awful time in my life. I was very depressed. I didn't want to do anything. I was always, you know, hiding from people. I always had my head down. I was not confident at all because this was going on every single day, like a million times a day. It's all I ever heard. And I never saw anything wrong with my face until these people started bringing it up and then I started believing what they were saying. So of course in this day and age, bullying is more of a common thing. You know, we have the Twitter, we have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and it just happens there. People who are hiding behind screens, on phones, tablets, computers, laptops, they're typing negative things to us, to you guys, everybody in the world, just saying the most meanest things and rudest things for no reason. I do get a lot of negative comments but it does not compare to the amount of love that you guys give me. You guys have given me so much love that it just like, the hate is just such a small portion, but I do get it and words do hurt. I have been called every single name you can think of on my YouTube channel. I've been called the B word. I've been called the C word. I've been called, excuse my language, but I've been called a slut. I've been called a whore, which just like blows my mind because since when is ghost hunting and talking about ghosts and paranormal phenomena and all that stuff slutty? Like, you know, and if that's all they're going to say to me, then that just reminds me, yes, Brittany, they are the problem because what are you doing that's slutty? I'm telling you guys about Lizzie Borden. I'm telling you guys about Condi the ghost. I'm telling you about Annabelle. Like, you know, it's just... <sighs> How do I start this? How do I... Oh my god, there's just so much I want to say. I've had people tell me to kill myself. They've told me to hang myself, to slit my wrist. Like, they've gone into detail on how I should commit suicide because I'm worthless. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. Like, they say this to me. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I'm a stereotypical blind. I have a valley girl voice. They hate my voice. They hate this accent, this country accent I have, which I don't have a country accent. I don't know where that comes from. I'm from Canada, I'm from Toronto, Canada. This is my real voice right now, the way I'm talking, but when I get like really excited and just like crazy, I just kind of have this like Southern accent that just kind of comes on. I don't know. I have like an accent disorder because sometimes I talk in a British accent. I don't know, it's just like a part of my personality. <laughs> it's just really weird. <laughs> I had a 65 year old woman comment on one of my videos. This was like six months ago or something. It was on my Ouija board video. And she said, you look like Nicki Minaj and Bozo the Clown had a baby together. So, you know, I go to her channel and her videos are so full of hate. Like, she's always yelling in her videos. I don't remember her username. I have no idea. You guys can go in the comments and see. Like, I don't even know if her comment's there. I don't even know if I blocked her. I don't know. It still might be there. But I replied to her. I forget what I said, but I replied to her. I called her, like, an old hag or something. And I know you should never 
sink down to their level but I'm sorry she just really pissed me off I'm like don't talk to me like that like you're so full of hate she just needed to be put in her place and these people do need to put be put in their place because they're ridiculous they come up with the weirdest things I had this one guy write on my Colonial Park Cemetery video saying that I am nothing but a stereotypical blonde and he put like that annoyed face at the end of his comment and I wrote something back to him I forget what I wrote but I put him in his place and he was like, ah, oh, don't be all, like, mean to me. What if I was just giving you a compliment? I'm just like, really? The thing is about these haters on the internet is they are not expecting you to reply back to them. When you reply back to them, they're all like, oh my god, they replied back. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting this person to reply back. Oh my god, what do I say? They're just, they're so dumb. And I'm sorry, you might be like, well, Brittany, now you're judging them. I'm not judging them. That's just the truth. Because they're judging me and being so rude and disrespectful. And that just shows you the person, the people that they are. They're disgusting people. So why worry about these people? I don't know how you can physically have your fingers and just type on your phone, tablet, computer, laptop, whatever, these nasty comments on people's videos. I don't understand how you do that. That's not human. That's disgusting in my eyes. And all these people who are so negative, they're demons in my eyes because demons are full of hatred and negativity. So these bullies who are doing this on the internet or even in person, they're demons in my eyes. That's what I call them. They're demons. You don't want to be associated with demons, so why would you want to be associated with these people? So this one person wrote on one of my videos saying, why is your face so big and your body is so skinny? And I'm just like, who says that? And you know, I will admit, at first, you know, I was a little hurt. Like, I, I froze. Whenever somebody mentions my face, um, it makes me paralyzed and I freeze for a second because I get all the flashbacks. All the flashbacks come back to me from every single person that was mean to me and it just like all echoes in my head like it's a movie or something. Like that's really what happens to me because I'm still sensitive about it. I mean, like I said in my last video, I'm not completely over it. I am a heck of a lot better than I used to be because I used to never even want to go outside because it was so bad. But you know, words hurt. Words stay with us. And that just shows you, like, those words stay are going to probably stay with me for the rest of my life. And I'm going to have to deal with it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's always at the back of my head. But life is too short to be worrying about stuff like that. And you can't just 100% get over something. But I want to help you guys in telling you that life is so much more than what these people say to you. I had this one girl write on my video recently. She's like, I can't take you seriously. You're too silly and immature. And you know what? I just felt like saying, then why the heck are you subscribed to me? Go, go away. I like to have fun in my videos. I like to broadcast my personality. I love the paranormal. I love sharing my knowledge with you guys. And I love to make it fun. And people are always like, you're too happy. You're too this, you're too that. You gotta calm down a bit. You're too annoying, you're too happy. You're too excited about things. Well, what do you want? Do you want me to sit here and be like, hey, hey guys, it's Brittany. So uh, today I'm gonna tell you guys about Annabelle, um, that haunted doll in Connecticut. Yeah. Is that what you want me to be? Like, you know what? And just hearing those comments just makes me want to fight back and just be even more crazy and happier. Who would hate on a happy person? I don't understand it. I love happy people. I always want to surround myself with happy people. I need happy people in my life. I can't be around depressed people. I need happy people in my life. I just don't understand how people can be so negative about everything. Like, I always want to be positive to people. I spread positive energy everywhere I go. Even my friends tell me that, you know, when we're hanging out one-on-one, one, they tell me, they're like, you know, Brittany, you make me so happy. I love being around you. You make me excited about life. And I'm not exaggerating. That's what they say. And that means so much to me. And that's one of my goals in life. I believe that every single person is put on this planet for a reason. I believe we all have our own unique gifts and you should share them with everybody. Like, why not? If you're like creative and stuff, if there's something you are absolutely amazing at, show it to people. Show your gifts. Like, just broadcast yourself to the world, show everybody like this is me, like woohoo, I'm amazing. You're one of a kind. Nobody could ever be like you. I mean, obviously like a lot of us can be similar to each other, you know, we have common interests, we, you know what I mean, we get excited over the same things and stuff like that, like you know how you and me have an interest with the paranormal, you know, like we have similarities. But you guys can never be like me, I can never be like you, we're one of a kind. 
celebrate it. Be like, oh my god, like I'm an amazing person. I'm Brittany. I love ghosts and I'm proud of it. Like, shout it to the world. Just be happy. Embrace your uniqueness. Don't worry what people tell you. Don't worry what society tells you. I've been just living my life to the fullest every day. Life is way too short to worry what people say. It is so dumb if you think about it. And I know a lot of you guys that watch me are kids. You're like teenagers and younger. And you know, I have people who are my age. I have people that are older. So thank you guys all so much for watching. But you know, a lot of you who are in school right now, and I, I know that it is very hard for you if you are going through this because you, you're in a bubble. And that's how I felt. I totally understand you. You feel like school is your bubble and that's your life. And it's just, no girl, no, it is not your life. I'm not just talking to girls, I'm talking to guys too, but I call everybody a girl. I'm always like, hey girl, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, having those experiences in my life, all those bullying experiences have turned me into the person that I am today. I am so strong. I am so much more confident in myself. I'm not like, 120% confident, but I am very confident in myself. I don't know how I built this thick skin, but just one day, I just, I didn't care anymore. I was just like, whatever. I just did not care. I love the person I am, and you guys should love the person you are. It all starts with building this relationship with yourself and loving yourself first. If you don't love yourself, then you're never going to be confident in yourself and people are going to see that and people are going to target you. Look at yourself and tell yourself things that you love about yourself, whether it's your eyes, your hair, what you love about your personality. Do you love the fact that you love ghosts? You, you love Pokemon, ponies, <laughs> whatever you love. You love Batman. Like you love the fact that you love Batman. You love Sailor Moon, you love Jason, you love like Jason Voorhees, sorry, I'm like looking at all my props for my movies over here. Just name everything that you're so proud of that you love. I told myself those things. I love the person I am and I would never change who I am for anybody. I am loud, I am energetic, I am just full of life and I love spreading positivity among everybody. I love helping people and that's something that I love about myself. You guys just gotta love yourself. You can't worry about what people are saying because those people that are saying things about you, maybe they're talking behind your back, they're spreading rumors, you know, they're saying hateful things to you in person, online, whatever they're doing. You just gotta be like whatever, like you gotta just say to them, why are you so obsessed with me? Like why are you so obsessed with me? It's just you have to really think about it and the more you think about it, the dumber it sounds. It's like, wow, I'm actually listening to what these people are saying. Like, really? They're so insecure with themselves. So unbelievably insecure with themselves. The worse the comment is, makes it an even bigger compliment. It's a compliment in disguise. That's how I look at it. If someone tells me to go kill myself, I just take it as a huge compliment. I'm just like, okay, that's like to the extreme that you could ever say to somebody, so I take it as a huge compliment. I know it sounds really weird, but it's a compliment in disguise. Why are you telling me to kill myself? I'm telling you about Annabelle. Go kill yourself, Brittany. Like, what? Just think about that, how dumb that sounds. It's just ridiculous. Another thing people will say on my YouTube channel is that I wear way too much makeup and I look like a whore because of my makeup. I love having dark, dramatic eyes. That's something I love. It's part of my personality. I kind of have like a split personality. I'm not really, I'm not really like split personality, but my style changes. Like one day I'll have very minimal makeup and I'll be like all hot pink and sparkly and girly. The next day I'll be like edgy and just like dark eyes, a bold red lip and studs and skulls and all this stuff. Like my friend, one of my friends is always like joking with me saying, one day I see you like this pink, beautiful Barbie princess. And then the next day you're like this punk rocker chick. And it's true. I have a weird style. It's very different and I love my style. I'm very girly, but then I'm also very edgy and dark and I just mix it together and I love it. I love to stand out from the crowd. I love to be bold and bright and colorful and that's just who I am. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I feel people tackle me because they know I like to stand out and they want to bring me down because they know I have confidence in me and I just work it and I don't care. If you want to wear something to school and you're all worried that people are going to say something to you, who cares? Work it, girl. Do it. You
strut down that hallway. You work your thing. Don't worry what anyone says about you. You know, you guys just gotta enjoy life. Just be happy. If you're ever feeling down, just message me. I'm here for you guys. I'm sorry if I don't get back to you right away, but I definitely will get back to you, <laughs> of course, because, you know, we're team Brady 44. We're best friends. You gotta live life to the fullest. You gotta be your unique, amazing self, broadcast it to the world, go after your dreams, don't let anybody stand in your way, you're amazing, work it, strut everywhere you go, and you know, I love you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it really inspires you guys, if you guys want me to make any more videos like this, just let me know, like this video, leave me a comment, message, whatever you guys gotta do, I want you guys in the comments to tell me three things that you love about yourself. Three things, even more than three things, but at least three things that you love about yourself. Let me know in the comments and we'll just have a big, happy, positive party in the comment section. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know this is uploaded on a Sunday, but I really wanted this video to be uploaded. Something that means a lot to me and I really wanted to help you guys. So I hope you guys are like enjoying this because I know it's like, what, Brittany, there's a video on a Sunday? There's going to be a video on Tuesday and a video on Friday. So yay, my Tuesday video is about the Paris Catacombs. Yes! I am so excited about that. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Just know that I love you. You're amazing. You're individual. You're unique. You're amazing. You're special. You're everything. You're perfect. You're perfect in my eyes. Just remember that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the Paris Catacombs on Tuesday. <laughs> Bye!